Neuroaxial anesthesia is spinal anesthesia, epidural anesthesia, or combined spinal epidural anesthesia. Contraindications to neuroaxial anesthesia include patient refusal, infection at the site of injection, elevated intracranial pressure, a bleeding diathesis. Relative contraindications to neuroaxial anesthesia include the presence of a neurological deficit in the area that is to be blocked, patients with significant valvular heart disease, such as aortic stenosis or idiopathic hypertrophic subaortic stenosis or bacteremia. Patients uh, who fall into these categories should be given a thorough risk-benefit analysis to have neural axial anesthesia performed. Spinal anesthesia involves a single injection of a local anesthetic with or without opioids placed into the cerebrospinal fluid within the intrathecal space. Spinal injections are performed below the level of the spinal cord and the duration of blockade depends on the local anesthetic used. It is associated with significant hypotension and has a risk of postural puncture headache. Epidural anesthesia is injection of local anesthetic with or without opioids into the epidural space with a catheter that is left uh, into the epidural space which can be redosed if the surgery is long and needs an additional dosing or for postoperative pain control. Epidural anesthesia has a lower incidence of hypotension and obviously the ability of the catheter to be redosed. A combined spinal epidural is a technique in which a single injection spinal is given followed by placement of an epidural catheter. The epidural has the ability then to be redosed if the surgery exceeds the length of spinal blockade and or it can be used for postoperative analgesia. Side effects associated with spinal and epidural anesthesia include a hypotension, uh, with, particularly with an epidural urinary retention, and side effects from placement of neuroaxial opioids, nausea, vomiting,